In this next video, we're going to continue with angles of triangles, but this time we're going to talk about the exterior angles. So when you have triangle, the exterior angles, or the exterior angle actually is the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So if you look here at exterior angle D, the angles that are opposite interior would be A and B. So you would add those up. Another name for opposite interior would be remote interior angles. So you could call them two remote interior angles. So they're just the ones that are not adjacent to, not touching the angle that's on the outside. So in example one, we want to find the measure of angle one. We know that it's going to be the sum of these two angles. So if we add 60 and 80, we get 140. So the measure of angle one is 140 degrees. In example two, they want us to find x. Well, we know that these two angles, x plus 55, will give us this exterior angle, 78. So then all we have to do is subtract 55 from 78 to get our answer. That comes out to 23. So x is equal to 23 degrees. Here we're gonna continue using what we learned. So in this picture, we would add these two angles to get exterior angle one. So the measure of angle one would be 115 degrees. In the next picture, we can add these two angles to get angle one. So 25 plus 35 would be 60. So angle one is 60 degrees. And if you look at angle two now, it forms a straight line with angle one. We know straight lines are 180. So if I do 180 minus 60, I'll get 120 degrees for the measure of angle two. You could have also found angle two by adding uh, angles A and B and then subtracting from 180 because the inside of a triangle um, sums to 180. In our next picture, we're finding the measure of angle ABC. ABC would be this angle here, 2x. So we know that 2x and 95 are going to add up to 145. So that gives me an equation. If I add those, I can set them equal to 145. And I can solve this for x. So here I can subtract 95. I get... 2x equals 50, and if I divide by 2, I get x equals 25. Now, they didn't want x, so they wanted the measure of angle ABC. So again, that's this one right here. So I'm going to plug it into 2x. 2 times 25 will be 50. So the measure of angle ABC is 50 degrees. If you look at the next picture, I'm going to start with this triangle here. So I could add 35 plus 36. And together, that gives me 71 degrees. If I subtract 180 minus 71, I get 109 degrees. That's going to give me the measure of angle 1. Now, I know that these two together form a straight line, so they're going to add to 180. So if I do 180 minus 109, I get 71 for angle 3. Again, that makes sense because the two remote interior angles are opposite interior would give you that when you sum them. Now I want angle two. Well, here, this also forms a straight line, and this is also vertical to the 71, so this is gonna be 71 degrees. So now if I add 80 plus 71, I get 151, and if I subtract that from 180, I get 29 degrees for angle two. And again, that's because I know the three angles in that triangle will add up to 180. So 
So here, measure of angle 1 is 109. Measure of angle 2 is 29. And measure of angle 3 is 71 degrees. So here I'm using my knowledge of exterior angles and interior angles. Remember the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. And if you have an exterior angle, the two angles on the inside that are opposite it, if you add those together, will give you that exterior angle.